From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big day of Metaverse here on Play with the top Metaverse cryptocurrency coins for you to buy in during a market crash. A cryptocurrency crash has been going on now for a few days, but why is this a big, great opportunity to buy Metaverse coins at bargain prices? And which Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other major cryptocurrency coins should you be buying, staying away from, or considering across the board? We'll be going into that in today's recording. Metaverse coins have been really the game changer that you want to be getting into and getting them cheap. I've been featuring what the Metaverse coins are, what are the best players, what the Metaverse looks like, and the substantive and also quantitative and valuation that you need to know, whether it's Axie or Decentraland or the Sandbox. But all those charts are very red, and that means they're very down. So here is the buying opportunity. As one viewer asked me overnight, she thought it was a time to buy and then she paused and said you know what i'm gonna hold because i don't think it's time to buy just yet that's a one day chart you're looking across the board we'll be jumping into the metaverse of each of these coins and understand what they give you and why the valuation is so good as the prices erode and why i think you should be buying metaverse coins not other cryptocurrency coins that are not metaverse in this environment all those incredible details in the best, most comprehensive Metaverse channel there is. You're watching right now, and this is our light. America's number three most watched financial news channel in America, and the biggest Metaverse crypto channel there is. Featuring both how to buy Metaverse cryptocurrency positions, and with a new show coming this channel in just a few days about how to buy and make money in the Metaverse itself. It's a great show you're gonna wanna watch if you are a uh, entrepreneur, or you have side hustles, or you just want to bring another income level into the family as well. Of all that, coming into this recording and coming to this channel, this is Allied. And with that, let's go over the incredible details right now. The situation is not a surprise to anyone at all. A cryptocurrency crash is going on. The issue is how to deal with it. Over the last few weeks, we've featured three metaverse coins. These are the best coins to be buying. We went over substantive quantitative and valuation of what they are, what they do, but we also talked about when to get them. Now is the opportunity to get them. First, we're going to go over what they are, what they do, the sunset of analysis, and then we'll be turning into where to buy them in the face of a cryptocurrency crash. What is the metaverse? The metaverse is an altered universe, sort of looks like a video game, digital, and that metaverse is created by different platforms, different companies. Each company has their different metaverse. In the case of cryptocurrency, in the case of metaverses currently live, there's three. One that I really like, one I sort of like, and then a third. Anything beyond that, I wouldn't consider. What are they? The best one, Decentraland. The second best, the Sandbox. The third best, in my opinion, is Axia. Now, when you invest, there's two different ways to invest. You may only buy Tesla, for example, and then other people say, I want to buy Tesla, but I also want to buy every EV stock I want to own. That is an opportunity across the board. So it depends on how you approach investing. If it's Metaverse, I would have you buy Decentraland. If you want to have more than just Metaverse, then you buy Sandbox. If you really want to have more than even those two, then you also buy Axia. Now, let's understand what those Metaverses are. We're going to jump right into the universe of Decentraland. Decentraland is the name of the community, the platform, the video game that you're in. And that is not the image I just showed you. I'm just showing you sort of the environment of what these metaverses are. But let me actually show you what it looks like to jump into Decentraland. Here's my friends, is Decentraland. Look like a video game it is. Now, you're watching a screen grab. It's not a video image because it's just easier for me to show you screen grabs. Who are you looking at? You're looking at a character I created of myself. That character looks like an animated version of myself with goggles. I chose the shorts. I chose the tank top. I chose the look. Where am I? I'm in front of a casino. The only casino in the metaverse? No. It's an Asian-inspired casino. It's the front door on one side. Let's go inside the casino right now. Inside the casino. You see me now with the yellow shorts. On the left is a frog. 
and that's a common sort of motif they use. The frog is throwing dollar bills. On the right are three other guys, one guy wearing gray pants, another guy wearing beige pants, another guy wearing black pants with eyeglasses on. So in the metaverse, you can talk to other people. You can use your microphone on your computer or your cell phone, or you can type. You can pass something in someone's hands. Here, the frog is passing money to me or to these other guys. And you can invite people. You can say, like, I can say to the guy in the gray pants, let's go somewhere else. Let's go to the nightclub. I heard there's a great party over there. And I can give him a link and send him over into the nightclub. Here's the nightclub down the road. Now, this shows you the opportunities to make money in a metaverse environment. Here is a clearly an animated environment in the foreground. But in the background is a screen projection of a video that's actually live off out of the metaverse in which a DJ is actually playing the music. So it is though uh, I could put a YouTube video on that screen and show a projection of myself. And that is the benefit of the metaverse where it's bringing outside videos into the metaverse environment. Here's another image across the board. All right, that is how that metaverse environment works. And here is how you make money in the metaverse environment. I'm in the first floor of another uh, casino. I'm in a boutique. I'm looking at tracksuit, tops and bottoms. Tracksuit, where would I be buying this tracksuit for? I could be buying it, depending on the way the person developed it, for my character, my, my cartoon character, so that I'm no longer wearing yellow shorts and now I'm wearing a tracksuit. Or it could be for offline. Where I'm buying it in the metaverse and suddenly I'm buying it and it shows up in my office or the studio where you're watching this video. Yeah, that's the wonders of the metaverse. And that is Decentraland. Here you go. Decentraland. The first and the best in the environment for the metaverse. Why do I like Decentraland better than the rest? One, I like the ability to make money. Number two, I think it's monetized and it's designed out as a better platform to make money than the other platforms. Number three very, you know, stylistically, I just think it looks better. Number four, I think it really is perceived as the leader. Uh, and, and, and compared to all the other platforms, I just think it's ahead of the game. What you need to know is that there will be other metaverses. But I really do believe at the moment, depending on who you ask, Decentraland is number one. Some people may say Sandbox is number one. And they will be helped by the onset of other metaverses later on. Here's what's an issue. Let me just tell you generally what's going on. The metaverse, at least for Decentraland, is plots of land. And in those plots of land, you can buy them. They ain't cheap. Cheapest plot, depending on the price of Decentraland, is, you know, $70,000, $80,000. Yeah, you're hearing me right. And they go up to, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars. In that metaverse plot, you could be putting a commercial business, putting stores in there, doing anything like you would be as a normal developer, retail shop, whatever you want it to be. It's a great platform, a lot of ways to make money. What is the co what is the currency used in Decentraland? Decentraland. So let's go with this again. The platform for Decentraland is Decentraland. The website is Decentraland. The currency is Decentraland. You see them, you see it how it works here? Let's go sandbox. The platform is sandbox. The currency is sandbox. The environment is sandbox. The, the, the metaverse for there is sandbox. What about Facebook? Facebook is not crypto at the moment. Facebook is building out its metaverse. It's not live yet. And its metaverse will go live at some point. And when it does, all these these metaverses that are live night now and making money, working and operating and fully functional will get a massive spike to the moon when Facebook goes live. They already got a Facebook, they already got a spike in October. Let's go over where the numbers are. Now that you understand substantively what's going on, let's go over the numbers of the platforms and let's go over the crash. So I'm going to jump into the chart of Decentraland, but it's the same chart really for Sandbox, and show you what happened right before Halloween. Let's look at Decentraland. We're looking at Gemini, one of the platforms where you can buy the coin. You can buy on a lot of other platforms. Gemini, you can buy positions as cheap as $25. We're looking at a one-day chart. It's down. We're going to jump out to the seven-day chart. No, we're going to jump down to the, to the month chart. No, we're going to jump out to the three-month chart. Okay, now we're at the three-month chart. You see how we are still up 
it's green. Let's bring my mouse over to the very beginning of this chart, which is about here. I have been following Decentraland on this channel since summer of 2021. It was generally a 50 cent coin for a very long period of time. Then it went to 60 cents. It generally didn't really move. Then, right before Halloween, 2021, Facebook made an announcement. It was doing a multi-billion dollar investment to build out a metaverse owned by Facebook, its own metaverse. I immediately told viewers, go buy Decentraland. Why? Because as a built-out platform that already exists, the news that Facebook is doing another one will help Decentraland. It's sort of like, hey, someone else is getting into the equation. Facebook may be much bigger than Decentraland when it goes live, but Decentraland will get the boost because it's already live right now. Viewers made a lot of money. They bought in when I told them to do it. They mostly bought in about 70 cents. Two days later, Facebook announced that it was rebranding as Meta. That's what the spike is on this chart. Went from 70 cents to $3. I told viewers get ready for a pullback because things pull back initially after pop. But I said, hold. It pulled back. Then I said, essentially, I'll go to $5 by December 2021. I was wrong because it got to $5 in just about a week. So it really got there much faster. And then it pulled back. Went from five down to three. Now, here's what you can't really grasp from this chart. It's too hard to tee it up. So I'm just explaining it to you. Is that while Decentraland went from five to three, the other cryptocurrency coins that were not metaverse coins were really imploding. Look how beautifully flat, and flat is often your bet of, is often your friend. Look how beautifully flat Decentraland was throughout much of these months. Three, 320, 320, 320, 290, 280, 290, 280, 290. And then came the crash starting a few days ago. Went from 280 to then. 290. Okay, now we're on the three month chart. Let's come in tighter. Let's go to the one month chart. Now you see the impact of the crash. This is not a decentralized crash, it's a cryptocurrency crash. We went to 281, then to 260. Then we went lower, 244. Then we went lower. Uh, we, we broke two. Let's bring it into the one day, one week chart. Here we go, a little bit clear. We really hit a resistance level around here. We broke under two. Then we went to 190, and even today, let's go to the one-day chart. How much are we falling today? 230, 210, 190, one, we popped up a little bit more and still at 190. So, ironically, <laughs> yeah, you know why I'm laughing? It's because I told people to buy at 70 cents. It's still up from where I told them to buy it in October of 2021, which is just a few months ago. Yeah, this is a very good universe to be buying into. So how, what is my approach? If you want to buy into the metaverse and cryptocurrency, your first investment should be decentralized. If you want to buy more, you can buy Sandbox. If you want to buy more after that, you should buy Axie. But the first choice should be decentralized. If you don't want to do crypto, then, then buy into Facebook when Facebook pulls back as well because Facebook is a stock. It's not a crypto position. All right. Now, when to buy? And we've been covering Metaverse, and this channel's done really well. Thank you for all the incredible patronage. This is really the biggest Metaverse crypto channel there is with new set of programming coming for just the metaverse in just a couple of days from now. When to buy into Decentraland? Even before there was a market crash, I said, you know what? Three is high, if you haven't owned it already. Uh, two is good, but I don't see it going to 70 cents. That's what I said before the crash. That's what I said in, I think it was just about four or five days ago. I don't say I don't see it going back to 70 cents. So that's not a event. That event is not happening. Where is the opportunity for you right now? There's two different ways to look at buying and selling. It's a little bit different in the case of metaverse. Why? Because in the case of the metaverse, I'm telling people to get in and hold. I don't see a reason to be trading metaverse. You can. I mean, there are other coins that I think make a lot more sense to trade than metaverse coins. But I don't see you buying and selling. This is for people who understand the concept of the value of the metaverse crypto. They're getting in and holding it, and they're long-term holds. You know, you're buying them cheap and long-term holds. Now, what I've always told viewers of this channel, whether it's non-metaverse or metaverse crypto, 
is you always want to buy things at the right price point. You don't want to buy things at the wrong price point. I used to do a lot of uh, Doge live stream videos. I couldn't do them anymore because it sounded ridiculous. And the ridiculous was all over on social media two days ago. People saying, oh, Doge is popping. Doge ain't popping. It went to 14 cents. I mean, it's just a joke. It's a joke of a coin. Going from 21 to 18 to 14, what next? It's going to go to 9 cents. It's popping. It ain't popping. You're losing your shirt in the, in the investment. You ain't losing your shirt in the metaverse coins. Because guess what? Even in a crash right now, if you buy it at a right price point, you're still flat and you're long-term going up. And long-term is just maybe six months out. Doge may not be good for two, three more years. It may be not good for a long time. So where do I buy Decentral? What price point? There's a lot of ways to gauge it. And I'm going to do the first one right now. This is perhaps the most technical one. I want you to take notes, follow along with me, because it requires a level of real concentration on this one. You want to use Bitcoin and Ethereum's falling price as an indicator of where Decentraland is going to fall as well. Meaning, this is what's happened over the last six months. As Bitcoin goes down, everything else in crypto goes down. As Bitcoin goes up, it doesn't really help other coins. As Ethereum goes down, it brings other things down. As Ethereum goes up, it doesn't really help things go up. So the way you gauge where Decentraland is going to be cheaper is by looking at Ethereum and Bitcoin. How do you determine how low is Bitcoin going? Now, clearly I have a graphic up for one day and 34,000 is an insanely cheap price on Bitcoin. Here, and I'm gonna go off a subject later in this video to tell you, should you be buying Bitcoin? Because at some point it just becomes too darn cheap. You shouldn't be passing up the opportunity. Uh, here is where you need to know. In the case of Bitcoin, we're looking at a one-day chart. Let's look at a, let's look at a seven-day chart. Oh boy, yeah, ouch. Let's look at the one-month chart. Okay, even at the one-month chart, you see what we call resistance levels. Resistance levels are things that keep a coin or an asset, whether it's stock or bond, above a level. Clearly, we see we're staying above a level here. The level was forty-seven thousand. Then, bam, we slide down like a slide of the water park. Water park, forty-two thousand. Now we're flying. We're holding at forty-two. Whammo. We're crashing under 42, we're, we're sliding down. This here shows no resistance, meaning we're free falling. We're falling off the side of a cliff. Oh, look at this one, free falling. There's no resistance level in here, folks. So what does that mean for you? If there's no resistance of Bitcoin, there's no resistance in other coins. Meaning until Bitcoin finds its bottom, Decentraland will continue to fall. Translation, do not buy yet. What I've taught viewers over the last uh, year, year is that a crash is not a dip. Here's an old graphic from the very, very start of this channel. Not Slide, not a dip. People would always say some things are down two cents. Oh, it's a dip. I'm like, folks, it's lost 50% of its value. It ain't a dip. It's a slide. It's a crash. That is a slide. Here's a trading range. With things stay in a range, it's up, down, up, down, up, down. These are all graphics. These aren't current numbers. So what I want you to know is that when you look at this graphic, don't, don't sugarcoat it. Don't lie to yourself. It's a crash. It has not found a bottom. Finding a bottom means it has not found the basement. It has not found the, it has not found the foundation of the building. It is still crashing. It's still going lower. Until it finds the bottom, it's going to go lower. Now, here's what I want you to learn about this. I haven't covered this in a while, so I'm bringing it back on subject. This is big for the metaverse because you want to buy Decentral at the best price point, and you're trying to figure out how low is low before I buy Decentral or, or Sandbox. There's a new video. This is totally different than yesterday's video for, for metaverse. You find the bottom when you're there for at least two days. I really like three days. So let me give you an example. Let's say Bitcoin goes to 29,000 tomorrow and people are like, oh, it's a dip. I'm like, no, let's say it's going straight down like that and it reaches 29,000. If anyone says to you it's a dip, they are foolish. Kick them out of the, kick them out of the dinner party. <laughs> kick them out of the, it's not a dip, it's a crash. Let's say it's 29, then it's 28,000, then it's 27,000. That ain't a dip. It's trying to find the bottom. 
it's not 28,000 because now it's a 27,000, not 27,000 because now it's a 26,000. It ain't finding the bottom. It's still looking for the bottom. Let's say it gets to 25,000. I'm just using numbers. Doesn't matter. Doesn't mean that's the number. Let's say it gets to 25,000, then stops. 25,000 one day, 25,000 two days, 25,000 three days. It's found the bottom. There are two ways to buy in. Conservative on the buy-in, risky on the buy-in. I always like to be conservative on the buy-in, and so do most viewers. Meaning, I rather give up a uh, dollar or two dollars because I was conservative to make sure the crash was over before I bought. Here's an example. Let's say something was ten dollars fell to eight dollars, and you're like, "Oh my god, this is the bottom." And I'm like, "No, it's not. Hold out. Wait till it finishes crashing." It goes to seven. It goes to six. Someone may have bought it at eight and then thought that was the bottom. I said, no, it's not. I held out. Their investment they bought at eight is now at six. They've lost 20% of their value. If I'm doing my math real quickly, I'm holding out. Let's say it goes to five dollars. They've now lost a lot. And I'm like, I told you it's not the bottom. Wait till it's at the bottom. Now, let's say I misguide it. And uh, let's say it, that was the bottom. And it's now come back up. Who cares? I gave up an extra dollar of profit. It's the metaverse. I'm trying to get things cheap, but I'm also not trying to lo lose my shirt. And if I lose a dollar on the low side, who cares? Because I'm holding it long term. Wait till you find the bottom. Bitcoin, it's, it's free fall. It's free fall. And People's Republic of China, you know how it works. They are due to come in and just do a double whammy on Bitcoin. They always come in when Bitcoin is as weak as. And this is where it's time for People's Republic of China to do a double whammy and bring it lower with one press release. And uh, we hate crypto. We're throwing it out of China, blah, blah, blah. You know how they always do it. And then you're going to see Bitcoin devalue even more. So that is the best indicator of how to buy your metaverse coins is watch Bitcoin and the same analysis for Ethereum. As they devalue more, do not buy metaverse coins because this shows they are crashing. And until they settle down and stop crashing, you shouldn't be buying the metaverse coins. The other approach to the situation is um, using that resistance levels, looking at the chart for Bitcoin, understanding where they are across the board. Next, um, let's look out at big, let's look at Decentraline as just an example unto itself and get yourself a sort of a guide as to how low could low go. Here is one day chart. No, that is one month chart on Decentraline. So where are we right now? Uh, 190? Yeah. So clearly we can get a $1 something buying price point is essential and can we get us something less than a dollar i don't see it maybe i'm wrong but i don't think you're going to be able to get less than a dollar you're now able to get less than two dollars which is great let's look out at the three month chart and see where that is compared to that pop here was the pop facebook says they're going into the metaverse then they're rebranding and by the end of that pop they're at 294 that was about two days of announcements by Descent, by Facebook, 294. Where are we right now? We're at 194. So we are below that level. Uh, yeah, it's getting really cheap. But because it's so cheap now, it could get much cheaper. It's fallen through major resistance levels on the low end. And could it go into something around here, like a 125 or a 145? I think it can. Now, if you got to Central Land at 145 or 155, <laughs> and you come back to watching me, you know, in a, you know, maybe middle of next year, and Central Land's four dollars, you're gonna love it. I mean, just like the viewers who bought it to Central Land seventy cents or or eighty cents or ninety cents in Halloween, and they're still holding it, you're gonna love it because you got to Central Land in the dollar forty, and it's then a three dollar coin. Let's say it just goes to three dollars, you're up two hundred percent of the value, but you're not selling the coin, you're holding it. There's a lot of things you can do with Essential Land. Because guess what? If you own the coin, you could be buying the real estate of Essential Land. You could be doing a lot of things for Decentral Land. Now, on the flip side, if you own the real estate already for Decentral Land, your, your valuation is down. So your, your real estate assets in Decentral Land are down substantially in the last few days. All right, finally, um, something slightly off topic, because this is a metaverse video. 
I want to talk about the value of buying Bitcoin or Ethereum in a crashing market. I've always had price points for Ethereum and Bitcoin, and I've always talked about certain coins I think are long-term holds and other coins are not. And the long-term holds have always been the, the metaverse coins like a Decentraland and then Bit and Ethereum. How cheap do I really want Bit or Ethereum to be a long-term hold? I've always stayed away from Bit anything in the 40,000. I've always stayed away from Ethereum anywhere in the mid 3000. It's just, it's too expensive. But where does it become really provocatively interesting to potentially buy? So uh, that's essential. Let me grab the bit chart and the Ethereum chart. Ethereum, 2400, net, not cheap enough. I, we've had opportunities on the channel by Ethereum at 1900, 1800 during crashes. And that opportunity is maybe there for eight hours, six hours, four hours. So 2300 no. But that is certainly a warning signal that we're getting so low on Ethereum. 1900 may be blinking there for a few hours this weekend. So if you really want a long-term hold, I like Ethereum below a 1900 I don't like it at 2300 It doesn't interest me. Some people, hey. They rather pay a lot. They rather pay overpriced for things. I don't overpay for things. I like it like a nineteen hundred or lower. It's so close. It's four hundred dollars away. Let's look at bits. Thirty four hundred. Excuse me, thirty four thousand. Uh, it's okay. Interesting. Not really. Uh, what becomes interesting is sub thirty thousand. Could it happen. I think it could. Uh, twenty nine thousand. Wow. Twenty eight thousand. Great, 27,000, oh my goodness, 26,000, oh wow, tell your sister and brother and uncle they'll get some, 25,000, are you crazy, you haven't bought any, yeah, you see the sort of reaction to it, so 34 is, you know, okay, whatever, because for it to go up and double its value, it has to go 70,000, it ain't going to 70,000, I'm here to make a lot of big return in our investment, doubling 34,000, 70,000, have I seen 70,000 for Bitcoin, I haven't, so, uh, long-term hold, many people think Bitcoin is going to 100000 Uh Yeah, the question is when. Many people think Ethereum is going to 10000 I think that's sooner than Bitcoin to 100000 But those opportunities are there. If you like Bit and Ethereum as long-term holds, that's my sentiment on when and at what price point. I'm not really interested in Bitcoin in the 30000 I'm not interested in Ethereum in the low 3000 you heard what price points I am as well. Join me two shows per day, or at least one shows per day, on this channel about the metaverse. The fastest growing cryptocurrency channel for the metaverse, that's Alite. America's number three most watched financial news channel in America. We have a brand new show coming to this channel just about how to make money in the metaverse. Not about the coin investing, but how to make money in the metaverse. You're going to go into the actual platforms and learn about it as well. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new exciting environment. And it's a brand new metaverse across the board. Stay informed, stay focused. But first, go into this video and subscribe. I want you part of this incredible family across the board. Hit that subscribe button. You're watching the number three most watched financial news channel in America. All right. Subscribe and be part of this incredible family. Like the video and become a member as well. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP to get the incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. Meantime, sign up for the LA Alerts. Totally free and on the link under the description of this video. There's no other news channel in America that has an alert system like L8. It's totally free and it's under the description of this video. Stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful day across the board. Stay with L8 and stay as all the excitement continues all day long and on L8.